All right, so we have just parked right alongside the road here at Paint Creek. Um, we've never been here before, to be honest. We don't know much about it at all. Uh, all we know is that they do stock this area every other week with rainbow trout. And uh, what we found is there are a lot of really nice pools. There's a lot of, a lot of waterfalls, plunge pools, a lot of deep holes and runs. And uh, we're going to see if there's any trout in here. So join us today here on Tennessee border about near North Carolina right now. So we're way up. We're about an hour and a half, maybe a little bit further from Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge. Probably about two hours from Knoxville. And some of the prettiest places you'll find in all of Tennessee. Lions are stripping. Look at that. Down here. It's not a bad fish either. Oh, that's a boat. He's a chunk, dude. Oh. That's what I'm saying. It's a nice fish. <laughs> Tennessee put some nice fish in here. All right, came down this steep path right here, found this nice deep cut bank, and uh, hey, first drift. I don't think it hit the bottom. One drift, one bounce. I know how to grow some fighters down here. Double trouble. Got another one? Double trouble. Hey, you. Double hookup. Oh. Got him. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Tennessee, folks. Oh, I'm done. All right, down here on Paint Creek, and we're just piling these fish up. Tell you what, look at the quality of the fish. Look at the beautiful stripe on this bad boy here. Nice, solid one back there. They're all beautiful fish. Let's get these jokers going. Oh, he wants to go. This big guy here, send him home. You know, coming down, finding these bigger pools, this water's gem clear. These fish are in these deep pools, cut out banks, you know. I'm running a 6'6 ultralight rod, and I can tell you the key today is definitely four pound test. You know, the water's really, really clear. And, uh, you know, plunking that four pound test, just a couple small split shots about two foot away from my uh, egg hook here. And then we're running a little bit of a yellow jacket on a size 12 egg hook. And uh, we're just coming down to these deeper pools and just plunking along. And uh, there's been a lot of fish held up, held up in these pools. And uh, we're just picking through them. All right, so you saw these guys just catch a double. I'm going to try to see if we can get another double here. Mike, what are you using? Uh, a little bit of a double action here, two yellow jackets. Size 12, egg hook. Fluff? See what fluff has. Silver label and a yellow jacket. You can say the silver all over. I was going to say, you're, you're telling the truth. All right, okay. who's going to hook up first? Hey, fluff. And keep in mind, we don't believe that they stock this section. The only reason why we say that is we had to walk about 100 yards down from the nearest park fluff is on parking area to get that, uh, to get down here. And we had to basically scale a cliff. So these are fish that have probably been, just kind of drifted their way down. Oh, Almost a double. We knew we got one out of two, ain't bad. Oh, there we go. Woo. Welcome to Tennessee. All right, as you see, we came down to this hole right here. And you know, a lot of this a lot of this creek is a little bit of fast moving and little pockets, but when you find the deeper holes, a lot of these fish are just piled up in these holes. You know, you can see this rock cliff right here. They're lying right along this rock cliff. Nice shade line, deep pool. And uh, hey, we've been piling fish up left and right. Let's see what we can do here. Like that. You know, once you find these deep holes, light line, small hook, and I tell you what, they got Ooh. some good power to them, though, Ooh, I can tell you that. You know, the key is definitely those deep pools. You know, these fish are laying in these deep pools. Once you find a deep pool, you know, just because they don't stock here, doesn't mean there's not fish here. You know, they get washed down through the system. Like I said, a lot of the system's a little shallow running. Deep pools will hold a lot of fish. Well, that's another nice one. Be easy as that. Look at the quality of fish they put in here. 
Hey guys, how are you doing? You see me catch a lot of fish today, and this is what I'm using. A silver label and a yellow jacket together. I like it because it's a lot of color going through the water, and you also got kind of a natural look at the same time. And man, they just been killing it. I've been taking, right here in this hole we're at, it's like a cliff. I've been taking it, throwing it on the other side, letting it go down the rock, and they've been grabbing it every time. Ooh, there's one. These fish are tough. Ooh. You sure you can handle that fish one? I know. I bet Oki's never even seen a trout this big. <laughs> I bet Big Boy's never even seen a trout this big. They got beautiful colors on them down here. I've never fished this creek. It's the first time I fished in Tennessee. And I'm definitely not used to coming to a place that's not heavily pressured and you can come back, you can come here 10 days after they stock and actually catch some. That don't happen at my house. Today's episode of Podsky Outdoors comes to you from the Cherokee National Forest. Okay, this is the first time we've ever been to Paint Creek and we're glad we came up here. Uh, it's one of the most beautiful places you'll go. You know, to be honest, um, we called TWRA and said, hey, listen, where is there a place we can go to get away from crowds and expect to catch a lot of trout? We've been in Gatlinburg, Pigeon Ford, Sevierville, that area of filming for the last couple days and there's been people everywhere. They told us, you know what? Try Paint Creek. Sure enough, we did. It's about an hour and a half drive from where we were. We came up here and found this beautiful high mountain trout stream. It's crystal clear got a lot of cool water, high flows, and it is loaded with rainbow trout. Now, we later found out they stock this stream every other week from February through June. Uh, and reason being, there's tons of water here, there's waterfalls, there's pools, there's holes suitable for rainbow trout. Now, we also heard that there's a five mile section that gets stocked. It gets stocked from Paint Creek Campground all the way down along this paved road through the Cherokee National Forest for about five miles. And you'll notice that there's places to pull off all over the place. There's parking areas, there's restrooms, there's picnic areas, there's campgrounds. It's a perfect place to come and spend the day looking for trout. Now, we used basically two baits today. Uh, Mike stuck with using yellow jacket salmon eggs and Fluff, he mixed yellow jackets with silver label, you know. By doing both those things, these guys caught probably a couple dozen fish each. And we put every one of them back just for you. Now we also learned that this place doesn't get a lot of pressure during the week. On the weekends, things might be a little bit different, but you'll see that's one of the few places you can come and fish beneath waterfalls, fish in real deep holes. You can come find pools. Just about any kind of water that you'd like to fish, they have it in this section of Paint Creek. One of the great things about Paint Creek is it is so remote. Uh, we're almost up here on the North Carolina border. As a matter of fact, if you keep driving along this road here, uh, you'll actually end up uh, in Hot Springs, North Carolina. So it's really close to there. But the Cherokee National Forest is just a beautiful place. And you know, one of the great things about this is it actually gets 6,500 rainbow trout a year. TWRA does a phenomenal job stocking up here uh, high in the mountains. The other thing to consider is it is far from just about anything, uh, you know, large city wise. We're probably looking at close to two hours from Knoxville, maybe a little bit less depending on how fast you drive, you know. And then we're looking at about, uh, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes from Newport. So when you get a chance, Google Paint Creek Campground, you'll know where to start and you know where they start stocking trout. And then all the way from there downstream for about five miles, anywhere you want to stop, probably has a fish waiting for you. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order. Oh! Oh! Back to the national board. Yeah! We got a nice dog water over here. <laughs> Laurel catcher. <laughs> you sound like Dirk a deer or a bear out there. <laughs>